Some will argue that the 95 gram is too ambitious. The 95 grams for cars. I disagree. The Commission disagrees. We believe that, yes, this is ambitious. From 130 grams in 2015, in only five years, and to go down to 95 grams. Yes, it is ambitious, but it is also achievable. What the European Commission is proposing today is a 60% slope of the curb with 0.0333 factor based on the 2006 base year, the same reference year on which the 2009 regulation was based. In 2015, a low emitting car would be counted as 1.5 vehicle. Today it's three and a half vehicle. It has been phased down to 1.5 by 2015. What we are proposing here is 1.3 vehicle. It will count with from 2020. Again, another clear tightening. In all, while super credits will increase the incentive for manufacturers to make low emitting cars, we have very much limited some of their negative impacts. This proposal is really good news for consumers because it will allow consumers to save on fuel costs. And we have made calculations and those calculations show that for a new petrol car, the average annual saving is of 344 euro. And for a diesel car, this annual saving would be up to 465 euro. We welcome very much this proposal. We think it's really a very good initiative. However, we would like to be a little bit more strict. You know, as consumer organization, we always push for the, for the extreme. And one, two elements I would like to, to, to share with you. First of all, is the share of the burden between the lighter cars and the heavier cars. And we believe that this share should be much more shifted towards the heavier cars, because those cars are more polluting in the absolute, they are more expensive anyway, and so the fuel efficient technology relatively will be not so much lead to a price increase. And anyway, though those consumers can afford to pay more, we very much welcome the 95 target by 2020, and it should be a strict target, it should really be the goal. However, we believe that it's very important to also set mid-term targets and long-term targets, 2025, 2030. Uh, in order for consumers to anticipate long-term savings, but also for manufacturers to be able to be encouraged to invest into innovative solutions in the longer term.